guys, it's Katie here from Life Mundane and welcome back to my channel. Guys, today is literally the biggest book haul I've ever done. I just counted it up and I have 15 packages to open for you guys. Oh my word. I don't even know how we're gonna have time for this, but I'm gonna keep it fast and going, but I'm excited to share with you guys all of these books, many of which are curriculum choices or go along with our curriculum choices for next year. So let's get started. Hi, my name is Katie and welcome to Life in the Mundane. I am a second generation homeschool mom of six beautiful kiddos and on this channel we talk all things resources. I love to share with you resources that are going to help you in your homeschooling and help encourage you in your biblical parenting and how you can utilize those to their fullest potential so that you can make the most of the little moments. All right, so from today we have got books from Christian Focus Publishing, we've got books from Book Outlet from thrift books and from Amazon. I'm gonna drop links down below to as many of these books as possible, but I will also drop links down to thrift books and to book outlet as they both have amazing coupons that I have for you guys on your first purchase. So be sure to check all of that out down in the description below. But without further ado, we better start opening some packages or we're gonna be here all day. First things first, we have got Cactus Hotel and The Little Fir Tree. Both of these books are actually going along with my kindergartner's curriculum for next year. We picked a lot of literature-based curriculums for next year, and so many of these picture books are gonna go with that. So Cactus Hotel is all about cactuses and the different kinds of creatures who might find their home or their food or their habitat within a cactus. So this should be a really fun book that brings in a little bit of science into our school day as well as going with the curriculum choices that we've picked for next year. First things first, we've got a book from Thrift Books. This is The Little Fir Tree, all about a little fir tree who's out a little bit further than the rest of the fir trees and wishes he could be part of the rest of the forest. But then he's picked by a little boy for a special, very special Christmas tree. It's all about his journey. This book will actually be going along with our kindergartner's curriculum for next year. Next up, this book is one that goes along with our history choice for next year, and it is In Search of the Source. This one looks really interesting. I have never read it before. It says that in in the eerie light of the flickering torches, the wild hunting party was bringing down giant fruit bats with blow darts and killing them with their bare hands. The cave was full of yelling, splashing men, screaming bats and deadly darts. That's when Anderson calmly suggested wading across the underground lake and the party of former cannibals fell deadly silent. I won't continue to read the rest of it, but you guys should definitely check this out. My boys are going to love this next year. Another one that goes along with our history curriculum and literature curriculum for next year is Hero Over Here. This is a story of World War I. It is an earlier chapter book with great illustrations. So I think this will be one of their readers for next year. Ah, so this is going to be one of the books that we use for my son for his art curriculum next year. And it is the new drawing on the right side of the brain. This book really breaks down a lot more than just the basics on how to draw. It really uses a lot of developmental and brain research to teach you how to draw. And so it's not just, you can see there's quite a bit of text in here. We will be using this as a supplement, not as his main curriculum by any means, but it also has some beautiful artwork examples here in the middle and colored pages. So I'm really excited to dive more into this one. All right, next up from Amazon, we have got Hubert's Hair Raising Adventure. This one is also one of the ones that goes with my kindergartner's curriculum. This one looks like a fun one. I've actually never read it before, but I can't wait to dive into it. Oh, more thrift book books. Let's see, we've got, oh, this is going to be something we use alongside our history. It is huge, it's a big old thick book, but this is a Smithsonian Children's Encyclopedia of American History. This is gonna be used alongside the, um, the literature that we're reading, and I love the fact that it offers all these pictures and great facts. We love any of the DK books um, like this, that they offer all these great facts, and I love how large it is. It's just funny how when you get large books, it captures your kid's attention so well. And it's got different um, notable figures as well as different things like this is all about the jazz age and the history of jazz. Here we have Marching for Civil Rights, The Iron Curtain Falls, and Natural Disasters and so much more. So we will not be reading straight through this like a textbook but we will be utilizing it as a resource within our textbooks. 
Also along with that for our history read odds, we've got Pedro's journal. This is all about uh, about a ship boy who was on Columbus's ship and his journeys and adventures. It's written in like a diary style. So you see each of the journal entries, I guess journal, not diary for boys, but um, it looks really interesting and tells all about his journey to America. Guys, I'm telling you, it just keeps coming. All right, we've got hide and seek fog. It says it was the worst fog in 20 years. Seamen came in from the sea, birds hid, but the kids all enjoyed playing hide and go seek in the fog. So here they are playing hide and go seek in the fog. So this will be a fun story to read with my kindergartner. And we also have Roxaboxen. I've heard of this book, but I've actually never read it, believe it or not. Um, it looks beautiful. I'm really, really excited about diving into this with my kindergartner. You'll have to let me know down in the comments if you've read that one before. The next up is The Extraordinary Egg. This one is about a little frog that discovers an extra, an extraordinary egg on Pebble Island and all about how that egg starts to hatch. That was a workout. Okay, we've got a bunch in here. This one is all things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small, all things wise and wonderful. The Lord made them all. And so this, oh, look at these pictures. I'm all about a good picture book. And it's really simple text. So this one is one I'll be reading with my kindergartner, but it also might be one that she might actually be able to read um, sooner than later as well. Next up is The Frog and Toads All Sang. This is a rhyming story about a frog and a toad, and it's actually a series of stories here. So that'll be fun to do. There's an introduction, and then there's all these fun rhymes. Oh, so it's a book of rhymes. Oh, cool, 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 cool. I haven't seen inside all of these, so I'm excited to dive into that one. Stella Luna, of course, is a classic about everybody's favorite bat. I can't believe I don't have a copy of this one so far, but I'm excited to get our own. This one is such a fun one. It's a tree is nice and it's nice and tall, which makes the pictures of the tree even more fun. And it's talking about all the benefits or the fun things that trees bring to our life. The next one is Come On Rain. I haven't seen this one before, but it looks like a great story. Maybe about kids dancing in the rain. Just my guess. Of course, an Eric Carle classic is A House for Hermit Crab. It's all about Hermit the Crab who is crawling around trying to find a home, a new shell for him because he's growing out of his old one. So that's a classic. And again, one I can't believe I don't already own. Then we've got Gregory's Shadow. This is all about Gregory, the shy groundhog. And this will be a fun one to read around Groundhog's Day as he tries to find his shadow. Another Eric Carl book, we've got Pancakes, Pancakes. This is one that we actually read several times when we were doing the Where'd You Learn That um, preschool curriculum, purely preschool, and my girls loved it. And it's also called for in their kindergarten curriculum, so they'll be excited. I just decided to get our own copy because they absolutely adored the book. It is a great one because it talks about the different steps of making a pancake, and he has to go out and find the different items, the different ingredients, but also learns a little bit about where each of those ingredients come from. This one is an Eric Carl one I haven't read before, and it's called Walter the Baker. Owl Moon is our next book. Again, I feel like I've read this one before, but I don't really remember a whole lot about it, but I'm excited to jump into it. Look at that picture. Keeping it moving, guys, keeping it moving. Oh, I'm excited about this one. This is Robert Frost stopping by woods on the snowy evening. So basically, this is one of Robert Frost's poems, and it is an illustrated version of it. So it just gives a line of, e or gives each page, it's just a line of the poem with these beautiful illustrations going along with it. I love all of these early introductions to poetry for the kiddos. Last one in this package, we still have more guys, is Follow the Dream, a story of Christopher Columbus. There's another one hiding in there. Here are our last ones from Thrift Books. This is A Tale of Easter about two little lambs. I got the board book version. This is also to go along with their kindergarten curriculum. I love the fact that it offers um, different options of literature that goes around each holiday. We've got the matchlock gun. It says, in 1756, New York State was still a British colony and the French and the Indians were constant threats to Edward and his family. When his father was called away to watch for a raid from the North, only Edward was left to protect Mama and little Trudy. His father had shown him how to use the huge matchlock gun, an old Spanish gun that was twice as long as he was. But would Edward be able to handle it if trouble actually came? Again, this is one of the ones that goes along with our history and literature for next year. Across Five Aprils, another history add-on, and Moccasin Trail, which again will also go along with her history and read aloud. There's going to be a lot of reading in this house next year. 
Next up is our book outlet books. This one, I have no idea if it's any good, but it is called Keep Showing Up by Karen Eman. I have read some of her books before. It's how to stay crazy in love when your love drives you crazy. It is supposed to be a marriage book, um, a Christian marriage book, so we'll see how it goes. Stay tuned on Instagram to see what I think of it after I get a chance to read it. Another history read aloud, Caddy Woodlawn. I had a copy of this and I have not been able to find it anywhere and they had it for just, I think a dollar or two. So I went ahead and snagged it up in case I can't find the other one. Also for history, carry on Mr. Broadwich, Mr. Bowditch. I've always called it Mr. Broadwich, but I just realized there's no R in there. I was gonna say somebody tell me down in the comments how to pronounce it, but you guys can only type it. So I'm not sure that's gonna help. Someone in person who knows me, <laughs> let me know how to, um, to pronounce this book. Okay, so again, I have no clue if this is any good. I'm not putting my stamp of approval on it, but this is The Leader in Me, How Schools Around the World Are Inspiring Greatness, One Child at a Time. And it is actually written by Stephen Covey. So he is the one that wrote Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. He is not a Christian author, but this one just seemed like an interesting book to go through possibly with my kiddos. I'm gonna pre-read it first on how to develop leadership skills and just seem like something interesting for myself personally. Of course, you guys know I love my funny alphabet books, and this one is Q and U, Call It Quits. Q and U have always been quality friends, but they quilt, they quilt together, they go to quests together, they use true squad, but sometimes you want time to herself, and, um, or even have fun with other friends, and even though Q gets a little lonely. So this is all about their breakup, and hopefully how they get back together. We'll see. All right, more books. The Bedouin's Gazelle. Hopefully I'm not butchering that one. This is when she and he were only babies. They were pledged in marriage. And so it's about this arranged marriage that they have. So this would be fun to read. All right, next up, two books. I got one for each of my boys. These are blank comic books. I believe from Megan from Honey's and Salt told me about these, but check them out. I think they're going to go into our boys um, birthday gifts for this year because they love to make their own comic books. And um, so I think they'll love that. Here is another book that we will be using with my son's art stuff. This is the Drawing Masterclass, Learn the Skills to Create Beautiful Pictures. It includes 10 graphite pencils, two charcoal pencils, retractable eraser, putty eraser, three tortillion blending stumps. No idea if I'm saying that right. A sharpener, art basic sketchbook, an instructional book with expert tips. So you open it up and you've got your sketchbook here and then you've got your instructional book and the different things. I love the kits that Book Outlet has to offer. They're really affordable and they're usually really, really fun. Guys, we're down to our last two boxes, so stick with me. All right, in this box, we have Wonders of Nature, which again is one that's going along with our kindergarten curriculum. We've got Frederick, which I am really excited to have our own copy of this. My kids have loved getting this book from the library before. That a little mouse named Frederick and his adventures, um, but we've never owned our own copy. And then this one will be fun. This is the Oxford Illustrated Book of American Children's Poems. So it's got all these fun little poems and illustrations to go along with them um, that we will utilize all throughout our school year, probably with all my kids, even though it was called for, um, I think in our history curriculum, um, I think we'll just use it in our morning basket time as well. All right, last but not least is our box from Christian Focus Publishing. Um, I'm really excited. They recently had a sale where they had a bunch of items marked down to just $2 a piece. So I picked up quite a few things. The first thing is these, these wise word books. These are all part of a series. They are illustrated versions of the Psalms. So it's wise words to obey, wise words to follow, Follow, wise words to trust within each book it has a proverb here it has a little devotional and it has a prayer to go along with it so the next step is we've got wielding the sword it says in the Bible we read that God's word is the sword of the spirit and that it's sharper than any two-edged sword so when God's people teach and preach the word of God they are wielding a weapon and so these are the stories of different preachers and teachers who have used God's word next up is the risk taker series so all of these are obviously Christian books and um, there's a whole series here. I got all random numbers. I think I got two, three, four, five, and six. I, I don't know what happened to one. I don't know if they didn't have it on sale or what, but these are the risk taker series and they are different like biographies on different people who have been risk takers for the Lord. So this one's called Danger and Dedication. We've got Strength and Devotion. We've got Facing Lions, Fearless and, faith and Faithful, and Fighting Wolves. 
Again, I haven't read all of these. So these are just ones that look interesting to me, especially for $2. This is Living with God, um, a family guide to Christian faith on worship, heaven, obedience, and prayer. So they have different sections on each of those topics. So like on obedience, they have several little kind of daily devotionals. Can somebody tell me how to obey God? What is sin? What did Jesus do to help us? Um, how do I obey God? What are God's rules? So I might use this with my little ones next year for Bible curriculum with them, but I'm not sure yet. Can someone tell me how to speak with God as we're talking about prayer? We've got one of their Trailblazer series. Um, this is Dare to be Different. I believe this one is the story of the man who created Campus Crusades, but I could be wrong. <laughs> We've got more good choices and bad choices. 40 Bible characters decide and it's talking about different choices that different biblical characters had to make. And so it has a little devotional and then it has questions and it has the scripture references for you to read about. Well guys, we made it through the end. I hope you enjoyed this. Be sure to check out the links down below. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.